Thank you for being here on the last day of the year. It's December 31st, 2025. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. This year, back in 1997, Paparo, the mud volcano in Trinidad, uh, a rather large, significant explosion for a mud volcano by mud volcano standards. Again, back in 1997, and over the last six, seven, eight days, there has been additional activity in this area. Heightened alert for even more activity as we go forward. It's been some of the uh, most action, if you will, since back in 1997. We haven't had an explosion quite like that, an eruption quite like that, uh, but at times mud could be 10, 20 feet uh, in the air, including some of the gases. So this is right where it is. Again, Trinidad and Tobago, this particular spot in through here, zooming down and you can see the aerial shot from this. This is where the mud volcano is and in and around it, well, after 1997, uh, again, things, uh, of course, change with that uh, bigger eruption and homes are a little bit more away from it. We still have roads, of course, through the area, homes, uh, businesses, that sort of thing. And there has been that shaking since really uh, Christmas Eve and over the last several days. And with this, this is the spot we need to watch for additional shaking and land shifting as we go forward. I do expect uh, more activity uh, based on what I've been seeing, based on the report. Uh, out there. Scientists have been doing a wonderful job uh, in and around this to kind of put out the very latest information uh, from on the ground. But mud explosions with gas is still a possibility, if not a likelihood, as we continue uh, forward at least over the next several days. That means some additional land uh, shifting in the area, electrical and uh, power loss in the uh, immediate area. That will be continuing. And again, the most activity since 1997. It is highly advised not to visit this area, which most of you know. I trust your judgment, no doubt. Anytime we have any sort of volcanic uh, activity, uh, be it a mud volcano or a different type of volcano, again, simply put, if you don't need to be in and around that area, you avoid that area. Now, on the flip side, as we switch back to the uh, weather, we're watching a front dropping by. Heavy rain is going to be a possibility for some, not just later today, the Dominican Republic, for example, uh, watching over toward Puerto Rico. But even as we go longer term and we work our way into the new year, here's that front that is draped down through the Bahamas. It is chilly across the Bahamas. We've had cooler nights in other spots as well. This front is going to clip by cold back through Florida and the southeast U.S. Big plume of moisture west coast of the U.S. Now let me show you what's happening. Here's that front. So right through here, look at the Dominican Republic, even Puerto Rico. Some of the showers may kind of work in. In a spot of some additional rain, scattered about Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, but Honduras back through the Bay Islands in particular. Not as much Belize, but more so over toward the Bay Islands. Better chance of rain the next couple of days. But look what happens tomorrow as we uh, bring in the uh, new year. And you can see right through here, here are some of that heavier rain with the tail end of that front. Trying to clip by Haiti, the Dominican Republic. Isolated areas of flooding will be possible. Then that front starts to move by near Anguilla, Antigua, Barbuda, St. Martin kind of leaving. But as we go out in time, we're going to watch another one. This here is by the weekend into early next week, Sunday into Monday. Another front will be draped right about here, right? So this is by the 5th as we work our way into Monday, and that brings additional rain for some of us. That's what we'll be tracking, how these fronts start to dive down to the south. Not only some areas of rain that we need to watch, but also seeing some of the uh, cooler weather and cooler nights. So there's that front that is all the way through the Bahamas right there, bringing some snow and rain to the Atlantic region of Canada. Big plume of moisture once again as you work your way back toward the west coast of the United States, even clipping by the Baja in Mexico. And then what we'll watch out for, you can see here, as I mentioned, into January, the pattern would change. That's what we're seeing. Some southern systems popping up here. Additional rain, southeast U.S. This is by Saturday. This is that front that is going to dive down Sunday into Monday across parts of the Caribbean, move through the Bahamas. So while everything has been really up here in December, we're going to start to see things a little bit more to the south, which means while we monitor areas of drought, we're also watching out for some areas of rain, which could be heavy, and the wind shifting around that could eventually bring some cooler weather. So as we look at those wave heights today, looking at the seas, a bit of a chop as we work our way with this front that's kind of draped through Bay of Campeche, watching the Western Caribbean 
you see a few spots two to about two and a half meters in through here then as we work our way into tomorrow with that front up moving by you can see here's Bermuda Atlantic waters a little bit higher Gulf looking good much of the Caribbean okay kind of the typical chop that many of us would expect and then as we work our way into the end of the week it's really the Atlantic waters this year is on Friday by Bermuda looking at about two to three meters as far as those seas are concerned but Bahamas swinging back through Cuba over toward Belize parts of Mexico everything looking generally settled of course, keeping an eye on some showers that could uh, enhance some of the chop in some of the water. So with that front through, it's the colder weather, but drier weather back through Florida, the Bahamas, much of Cuba, the rain chance is going to stay limited. Here's that core of rain. So here's Jamaica, Cayman Islands. Jamaica will have some scattered areas of rain. We'll be watching that over the next few days. Heaviest rain, though, driving right through here at the tail end of the front, drawing in the moisture from the Caribbean, lifting it to the north. Parts of the Dominican Republic, we're looking at over 100 millimeters of rain, scattered areas of rain in Haiti, and some of this may try to creep into uh, Puerto Rico. Watching that later today and again for uh, tonight, and then we'll see how this front progresses elsewhere. It's kind of the spotty showers that we've had, uh, St. Bart, St. Martin, uh, St. Kitts and Nevis, kind of hit or miss through Dominica, Guadalupe, Martinique, same thing, St. Vincent the Grenadines, St. Lucia, Barbados. We get back through Grenada, Trinidad, and Tobago, hit or miss showers, a little bit more Guyana and Suriname, some of that moisture from the Atlantic that has been feeding in Venezuela, rain chance not too high. Here's that little pocket Caribbean side, Panama, Costa Rica, watching over toward Colombia. And here's that pocket of rain that I mentioned over toward parts of Honduras with some heavier rain that will be a possibility. Mexico City, mainly north, but that driving moisture moving into California were some spots again, three to four inches of some rain. Of course, some of this could be some snow, that system lifting up toward the Atlantic region of Canada today and tonight with some additional rain and some additional snow. So Jamaica, we have about a 30 to 40% chance of some spotty showers, could get a few brief uh, downpours around. Cayman Islands, the next couple of days, we're looking at about a 20% chance. 20% chance today, Trinidad and Tobago, and a 30% chance for tomorrow. Barbados, the rain chance stays minimal. It's not that we can't have any showers, but Barbados, back through St. Lucia, you see that rain chance stays low, just a 20% chance in Grenada, so it would be passing variety, wouldn't last long. Same thing, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, rain chance staying relatively low in just that 10 to 20% chance as we work our way from Martinique, back through Dominica, tomorrow, Friday, rain chance about 20%, and about a 20 to 30% chance the next three days, back through Guadalupe, bumping up slightly on Friday. 20% chance today in Tiga and Barbuda, 30% chance tomorrow and on Friday. Rain chance about 20% tomorrow. St. Kitts and Nevis in Montserrat and holding on to that 20% chance the next three days. Anguilla and St. Bart. St. Martin, Sabin, Stacia, 20% chance today, tomorrow, a 30% chance by the time we get into Friday. And a few of those showers near the DR may try to feed in, especially tonight. We'll be watching that in western sections of Puerto Rico. You U.S. and British Virgin Islands isolated the next couple of days. A 30% chance. The Bahamas, again, we're dealing with the cooler weather, mainly dry. Southern Bahamas, that's where we could see a couple spotty showers closer to the uh, Turks and Caicos. But there's that high chance of rain monitoring that flood threat in some areas across the Dominican Republic with over 100 millimeters of rain. That will be possible. So heads up, not just today, but also into tonight and tomorrow and seeing some scattered areas of rain that will be possible the next few days as we work our way back through Haiti. Belize again, on the edge of some rain. I mentioned how parts of Honduras getting some rain. So a little bit closer to the water, better chance of some rain in Belize. Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, rain chance about 10 to 20 percent all the way through the uh, end of the week. A 50 percent chance over the next couple of days in Guyana, 50 to 60 percent chance in Suriname. So it does bump up some for tomorrow. Meanwhile, in Cuba, the cooler days and the colder nights. We've been uh, feeling that. 30 to 40 percent chance the next couple of days, Costa Rica and Panama, a little bit higher in Panama, 30 to 40 percent chance in Nicaragua. But it's that spot that I mentioned, northern sections of Honduras, where we could see some of that rain. Guatemala, El Salvador, rain chance about 20%, mainly dry as we work our way back through uh, Mexico City, and only about a 10, maybe 20% chance across the Yucatan Peninsula with, once again, some of those cooler nights around. Northern Colombia building a bit as we get our way toward a Friday. Same thing in Venezuela, about a 40% chance by the time we work our way into Friday. Bermuda, the fronts move by, but most of the moisture has been uh, up to the north. Isolated showers possible. 
colder days working our way back through parts of Florida from Orlando back through Miami. Some of those cooler nights and that rain chance the next three days back into Tampa staying on the uh, low side. Same thing as we swing our way back to our parts of Texas. Houston rain chance staying very, very uh, minimal over the next uh, three days. So of course watching uh, Paparo the mud volcano in Trinidad monitoring that. I do expect additional activity best to avoid that area if possible. And then we have those fronts dropping by. One bringing those areas of heavier rain back toward the Dominican Republic watching out for some areas of flooding. And as we go forward that next front Sunday into Monday. So we'll keep an eye on those wind shifting around in some cooler nights and of course monitoring that earthquake activity. So thank you for being a part of this channel throughout the entire year. Uh, great community here. Thank you for taking the time to subscribe and spread this channel even further as we work our way into the new year. I hope you have a very good New Year's Eve.